Ah, oh, come on, Bucko! Don't you want a balloon? Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you lovely people. Every week it's a slightly different inflection on that intro. Today's game is called Balloon and it's by the developer called Lobo. This is Lobo's first Pico 8 game and it's, it's a good one. That's why we've got it on here. So, in Balloon, you are a balloon, as you can see, made by Lobo. This is the title screen. Um, nice way of doing it um, these are the controls you use the direction arrows to float around yes this is a float em up the object of the game is to float your way through the many um, threats posed by the um, well posed by the game let's um, let's get on with it here we are at the start there oh we've got a little timer there timing us uh, we have got some bee like enemies who we need to avoid uh, be careful when you're playing this um, this game and uh, yes, at first I thought, is this a JLP mod? It could be a JLP mod. There's some very familiar looking um, tiles, um, but I don't think it is a JLP mod. Um, but it's good. It's fun. Look at those clouds. Love it. Uh, the music's cool as well. Yes, um, those balloons are your checkpoints, as you may have guessed. And um, you can, it's hard to tell without, you know, without seeing me pressing the directional buttons, but there is a lot of um, momentum. There's a certain amount of lag. Um, yeah, the movement of this game is very interesting. Your balloon is very floaty. Uh, you need to, um, you need to float very carefully, uh, not unlike a game of operation. As you can see, there are spikes in this game. Yes, the perennial enemy to all gamers, spikes. Uh, we have got spikes back. Yes, and we have to flick a switch. That switch has a water droplet above it. I wonder what that might have changed. That sound effect suggested it might be something perhaps water-based that we have changed. Yes, I'm sure you can see uh, where this is going. Um, so, this first kind of area of the game is very straightforward. Overall, the difficulty in this game isn't too high, which I appreciate because it makes it nice and easy for me to play through the game and show you it. And the fact that we, um, we've got music in this game as well. Um, the fact that um, it's just the directional keys means that I'm free to um, make gestures with my hands as I'm talking, if, in case you prefer a more visual style of talking like this. Anyway, let's, um, let's move on. So here we are in the underground area. Oh, I do like this music. Very nice. <laughs> yes, this is the underground area where we're going to spend most of our time and we have got some new enemies. Um, I love the way that we start off in this um, beautiful, very Pico 8 looking wooded area before descending into a slightly more familiar um, 8 bit dungeon area with lots of water. So how does our balloon work? Well, um, we can't um, we can't get through water because we are a balloon made of, of air. If you try and go through the water, look, we, um, we bob up. Have you ever tried forcing a balloon underwater? It's not easy. Anyway, let's um, let's carry on floating. So, um, I haven't crashed into anything yet, which is remarkable. Uh, most sharp looking things that you crash into will pop your balloon and then you will respawn. Fortunately, this, um, this caged off area isn't one such thing. Oh, look at that animated waterfall. So nice. Uh, so yeah, here we are, we've got some enemies. Frogs aren't too bad, to be honest. Um, obviously, they put us under a little bit of pressure there. But like I say, the, get, the difficulty in this game isn't so high, okay? Uh, those are some rather sharp stalactites and stalagmites, so we're going to leave those guys well alone. Here's our um, second checkpoint. Is that our second checkpoint? Ooh, I wonder if we go up the waterfall. Let's see. Ooh, we've got ourselves a shortcut. I like it. Um, ah, we're back where we started. Yeah, I really like the uh, level design in this game. Um, it's only a short game. I should be able to hopefully show you the whole thing, or most of it. Um, so, yeah, I would highly recommend you uh, give it a look. It's Lobo's first Pico 8 game, and it's a fantastic start to a Pico 8 career, if you ask me. Uh, I do like the movement of those bats. 
Very smooth. Uh, despite being more predictable than the uh, than the bees, the bees look a kind of random in their movement. Despite that, those bats they taken me out quite a few times on my first playthrough. Uh, this is my second playthrough. Um, one playthrough is all I needed to know that this was something worth making a video about. As you can see, we are back to where we started. We have unlocked various things. You need to pay attention to things that you unlock in this game because. Uh, there is a little secret hidden in the game. A secret that I'm not going to spoil, but you know it's here. So um, you can um, investigate that yourself. Uh, if you want to play this game, I don't believe it is on itch at the moment. I've got more music. Each area has its own music. You know, this is how games are supposed to be made, isn't it? Um, yeah, you can, um, you can check out the secret at your leisure. So we're in a kind of lab electrical generation area here. This is where things start to get a little bit more tricky. Um, not too tricky though. Not too bad. And like I say, I've played through this game already. I've got a little bit of a sense of the um, the movement. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Hmm, we've got a barrier there. Hmm. Oh, this bit. This bit's cheeky. Um, you have to kind of manage your momentum in such a way. Um, this game could easily be made impenetrably difficult and I'm so glad that Lobo didn't go down that route. Um, I'm sick to the back teeth of um, precision platformer style level design where you just die continuously. It's not my cup of tea. This is. This is nice and chill. Okay, because I want to play a game and I want to just, I just want to relax, okay? And turn the electric off. Um, yeah, I really like the way that when we flick switches and things in this, the way that the level actually changes. I mean, you can see the music's cut off now. We've turned the electric off. And uh, we've got some barriers that have been um, unfurled for us. Um, so, oh, we've got a locked door. Hmm, how mysterious. I wonder where could we possibly go to get the key for that? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Anyway, here we are at the end of this little game. It's only a little short little game today, but look at that. The little girl was crying. She'd lost her um, balloon. And now she's got it. There we go. A happy ending. Almost a deathless run. I'm so proud of myself there. Six minutes 13. Um, I think the first time I played through it, obviously I wasn't talking to you guys. I don't just talk to myself when I'm playing games normally. Um, that took me about... About three or four minutes, I think. I died a lot more times than that. I was playing much more aggressively. But as you can see, fun little game. I would highly recommend you go and check it out. It's Lobo's first game, so why not go onto the BBS? The link is down below. Go onto the BBS, uh, give it a star, and leave a comment saying how much you enjoyed the game, assuming you did enjoy it. I mean, you will enjoy it, but you know, just leave a nice comment because it's really lovely when you've worked on a game to get a comment saying that, you know, that's a good game, that. Good job. Just nice, it just brightens up your day. Because this game has brightened up my day. So there you go, just spread the love. Anyway, that was just a sh short little video for me today. Uh, go and check this game out. Links are down below. Um, other things, uh, if you are interested in talking about Pico 8 games with other people who watch this video series, then go on to the Pico Playtime Discord. Um, if you've got a game to recommend to me, please post it on there because I'm always on the lookout for uh, new games and I don't have enough time to look at every single new Pico 8 game that comes out sadly. So if you find a really good one let me know and I will give it a look. Anyway thank you very much for watching this video. Um, now go forth and pop some balloons or something and I promise there won't be any more it references in this video. Thanks for watching, see you again very soon.